Nobody handles incremental releases quite like Onyx. This is the brand new Onyx page, which is set to replace the Leaf 2 even though the Leaf 2 still exists. This one has an octa-core processor versus a quad-core, more RAM, and a bigger battery. It also weighs more at 195 grams versus 170, 185, and it is the exact same body construction with the same dimensions, so let us get into it right now. Page, page, page. Here it is. Good name. Very good name for an ebook reader. The book's page. Fantastic. You can see some specs on the back. We already kind of went over that. Let us look into this. Now, we're not sure why they released this when the Leaf is still available. And this is a little bit more expensive than the Leaf. But they kind of do these incremental updates in order to phase out the old stuff and bring in the new stuff. You get a USB-C cable. You get a SIM card removal tool, which is for the SD, but it's more commonly known as the SIM removal tool. But it's the door removal tool. You get your documentation in the box right there. That's everything that comes in the box. Let's look at the unit itself because this is all new kind of now unlike the leaf white this one is a flush screen and bezel they don't have the sunken screen and bezel choice anymore there's nothing on the top nothing on the left nothing on the bottom oh there is something right there sirs and j ladies and gentlemen there is the power button and then on the side you know it's kind of subjective because which way am i holding it am i holding it asymmetrically like this in which case that's the side. If I'm holding it in congruency to the logo right there, well then, that's the side and this is the bottom. Either way, on this side, everybody, is the door. You get a USB-C and you get twin speakers. You know what? Actually, I think that's only one speaker. You can see through right there, but these all look blocked off. Except for this one little hole right there. I think actually that's a microphone and this only has one speaker. Or there could be two speakers in here. We'll have to dive in a little bit more in the review. You get USB-C as we said right there. Let's turn it on for the first time. How do you turn it on? Oh, yeah, right there. This is one of the first times it's on the bottom slash side. It's usually here or here or there or okay well if i flip it over and be a left handy i guess it's exactly where it should be but i guess for us right-handed people it should be right there but either way let's turn it on and we'll see what this all has to offer at least the initial startup so we s just skipped everything because we just wanted to show you guys starting this up for the first time it looks very much like the leaf and very much like everything else onyx makes so far but we will have to get into a full review to see how this is any better and remember this is twice as fast in terms of a processor on paper how it's been applied to the real world and the ui elements and the overall experience is completely different than what is on paper but on paper, this is twice as fast as the Leaf, hence it is a little bit more moo-moos. You gotta rub together, but this should get you done. It has Google Play Store, it has a storage, it has lots of onboard storage, 32 gigs with an SD card. You have the store, you have the library. We gotta go through all this and turn Wi-Fi on and everything like that. But for now, this is everything that comes in the box with a brand new, beautifully named Onyx Books page. Absolutely love that name. You get USB cable, you get a free case, you get all that fancy schmancy mumbo jumbo if you guys have any questions comments or concerns leave them down below and stay tuned for the full review